a house you can't miss, the one you can't see. Head a little further south to the upscale community of Laguna Beach, and you'll discover number 13 on our list, known as the Rock House. From the road, you might not even notice it. Hidden underneath this giant rock formation is the 3,000 square foot, multi-million dollar brainchild of software developer Dennis Morin, who says he never intended on buying a rock and calling it home. It was actually an accident. I got up one Saturday morning, like every Saturday morning, I looked in the real estate section. The headline was, unique property for sale in Laguna. And 10 days later, I own this big rock formation. <laughs> Undeveloped beachfront property is a hot commodity in Southern California, but this one came with one big issue, a huge mountain of solid stone. This property was owned by a gentleman for 40 years who spent 40 years trying to get a building permit and then died. His wife wanted to sell it, but it was not marketable because it wasn't buildable. That's where architect Brian Jeanette comes in. Five other architects had attempted this and weren't successful. They took the rock that we're sitting within right now and put a house on the top of it. When it was sort of my turn to take a shot at it, I said, no, we need to preserve what's there. Basically removed a bunch of the rock, built a house in the hole, and then covered it up again. How we ended up in a rock. And inside that rock now is an incredible two-level beachfront estate. It's all about the colors of the beach, that we wanted it to be kind of an architectural house instead of a decorator house. There are certain repeating elements. The design kind of revolved around the wave, the dog bone, the spiral, the arch, and the star. Because the house is so bright, you actually forget you're under a massive pile of stone. I really don't feel like I'm in a rock in here at all. I think the way that um, Dennis designed the light that comes through this house, obviously the wall of light, you know, behind me, as well as in the bedroom, and then all the skylights, it's created a very light environment that you wouldn't expect. The lower level takes advantage of its proximity to the sand with a huge deck and grotto-like hot tub. And this house is as strong as the rock it was built under. We figured out that this roof slab weighed 525 tons. In places, the concrete's probably close to four feet thick. I had to hire a biological consultant to oversee the safety of the plants and then bring the dirt back and put the plants back in the dirt in their original locations and restore the original contour of the rock. I can't go anywhere without being introduced as the guy who lives in the rock house. It's like become my identity.